jump rope. This is great for teaching the quickness and athleticism that we need. Start with two foot jumps. Pull the toes up toward the shins and spring off the ground. Don't stab the ground with the toes. Keep the core tight and stable. Suck in the belly button and tuck in the back. Next, do one foot hops. These are unmatched for developing balance in each side of the body. Agility, balance, power, everything we need for athleticism is in this drill. Now let's go to a running rhythm as we jump rope. Pull the knee up, heel up, toe up as you run in place. Get the synchronization of the arms and the feet to work together. Pull that knee up, heel up, and toe up as you step down to the ground with greater force and power. Now let's challenge the neuromuscular system. We're going to do skipping. This forces the rhythmic action of the arms and the legs to work together, sends messages from the brain to the muscles at a faster rate of speed. This is super for teaching quickness. You have to step down to the ground with the toe pulled up toward the shin. This keeps the ankle cocked and loaded, ready to explode off the ground. Now let's increase the speed. Let's go back to our two foot jumps and let's add fast feet. Pop off the ground as quick as you can. Single leg hops as fast as you can go. Quickly pop off the ground. Pull that toe up and bounce as fast as you can. Balance up by using each leg equal number of repetitions. Now let's add the speed to our run. We want to get a more rhythmic, faster rhythm as we run jumping rope. This teaches the arms and the legs to work together. Pull those toes up so we bounce off the ground. Now let's go to skipping. Get the rhythm, now increase the speed. The rhythmic action of the arms and legs working together is great for developing better quickness and power to the ground. <laughs> 